Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the Savior of Skyrim challenge with Mimir Many Lives and Sven, our trusted companion. Sven, I know I've been dragging you through hell lately. We have of course traveled all the way from Riverwoods to Helgen to Falkreath. But now we are here, it's a new town with new opportunities and it's all about making that first impression. So. Here's what I suggest. I suggest we get into some normal clothes and then come into town dressed like a vampire. And I gotta say, Mimir, green really suits you. You are the hunk from my dreams. Falkreath well, discovered, everybody. Hello. Out of trouble, Kinsman. Always. What is it? Wouldn't dream of trouble, officer. Oh. The skies are troublesome, though. I hope we don't get rain. It's an overcast and gloomy day here in Falkreath, but we have come to pick up some items, do some time-sensitive quests, and change people's lives. Some for the better, and as mostly for the better. Probably some stealing, but, you know, material goods, who cares. Shrine of RK, bless me of that rock joint that's been... Ooh, it's been bothering me for a few days now, but... Whoa. Just in time for a graveyard ceremony. The god Arke was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide that we find renewal and in the end, peace. Oh, he stole my haircut. The spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aetherius. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. Lavinia. What happened? A sad time. Who died? Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. Oh. Um... <laughs> It's terrible news and all, but I do have some potatoes to sell. Honest pay for honest work. <laughs> Excuse me. So, some villagers in Skyrim wants you to collect vegetables for them, and that's their little favor quest. So, quest complete. I'm <laughs> terribly sorry, though. It's... How did she die? She was... He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Who did this? Sinding. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? Ill met by moonlight. Well, that's something we're gonna get to the bottom of. This is her scene's Daedric quest. Our first encounter with the Daedra is imminent. Is this place always so gloomy? Yes, and I couldn't tell you why. My wife and I think there's some dark magic at work. Or perhaps RK's influence is strong here, and he likes to keep it this way. Hmm. Why does the town have such a large cemetery? The cemetery is ancient. It's been here longer than the town. I'm no scholar, but I know that a lot of battles have been fought here over the course of history. After each battle, more dead were buried, and the graveyard got bigger. I heard it's now the biggest graveyard in Skyrim. Hmm. What a thing to build a city around. I just don't understand what kind of man does that. Hello? My husband Matthias and I tend Corpse Light Farm. So, poor Indara and Matthias recently lost their young daughter to the frenzied violent outburst of a man named Sinding, who is now in jail. Might be worth stopping by that man. I don't think we'll be able to wrap up all Fulcrith business in one episode, so I think I'm gonna do half of it in town. I'm gonna go out, have some adventure, probably follow that her scene quest a little bit, then we can always come back into town to wrap up the rest of it. But one thing we do need to do right now, the thing which really drove us to Fulcrith in the first place, so we need to suck up to the young Jarl of Falkreath. 
this goat right here. He doesn't look like much, but behind those eyes is a deep wisdom. Jarl Sidgir. He has a quest, a simple fetch quest to gain his trust. However, if we reach level 9, we are going to receive a letter from a courier that's essentially going to skip this quest and give us his later quests. So, we don't want to skip quests. We want to do everything, meaning we must seek him out. Yes, what is it that you want? And of course he talks like Nazim. Bolin speaks much about the war and the storm cloaks, but he knows who provides. You're the Jarl. I'm looking for work. Work? I demand tribute before you can be considered for any real tasks. How about drink? None of that local piss. Real Blackbriar mead, fresh from Riften. I'll bring it to you. You better. I hate people who waste my time. A good thing we had some at home. Here's your Blackbriar mead. Now that's what I like to see. Someone who gets things done. Here, a little something for you. Hmm. Alright. Bring one Blackbriar meat to Sidgar. Complete! That was the Rare Gifts quest. I don't want to continue with his other quests for the moment, though. How did you become a Jarl while so young? My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the hold, I now serve as Jarl. Wow. <laughs> Alright, roast the Mimir. Does your inexperience make your job difficult? Difficult? I'm a Jarl. I eat the most succulent meat, drink the finest ale, and hunt with the best hounds in the hold. Meanwhile, my very capable steward sees to the needs of the small folk, and ensures that my hold runs smoothly. Being a Jarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. Come and see me again All right. sometime. I might have some use for you. At least he's honest. Who might you be, mister? I protect the Jarl. Oh. <laughs> Supposed to be this tough bodyguard type, yet he got scared off by... Okay, Fort well... Cemetery reminds us looking at my face is enough to scare me. most men. Hello. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Sidgir can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. Why is your cemetery so large? Many battles have been fought here over the centuries. Graves were dug and monuments built, and the town grew around these. In time, Falkreath came to be known as the Hero's Graveyard. Many noble Jarls and renowned warriors asked to be buried here. Falkreath's reputation has faded somewhat, but the graves remain, reminding us of the one inevitable truth of life. Hmm. So, how long have you been a steward? It was Dengir who made me a steward, long ago when he was young. When Dengir's health began to fail, young Sidgir was appointed Jarl in his stead. It was simpler just to keep me a steward. Sidgir has no interest in running his hold, and so leaves such matters to me. As for my part, I do my best to see that folk are treated fairly. We are actually going to stop by the old Jarl as well. May wisdom forever light your path. My path is lit by other means. We are going to stop by Dengir, the old Jarl, because he also has a little quest for us. Now, however, we are allowed to take certain things from... The interior of the Jarl's quarters because we're now pals with the Jarl. We did a quest for him. Hey, Wolfie. I could take a jug. I could take a goblet. Oh. Oh, Amulet of Mara. Mara protect us. Nanya, it's been lovely getting to know you. However, I, I do require some... I do require some privacy. Yep. Definitely. De okay. I need a new... Oh. Alright. Pillar strat. Ultimate pillar strat. Amulet of Mara. We got it. Fine shoes. Give me that. Clothes iron. Can't remember if we got that. Let's open up this. Some fine clothes. Oh, we're gonna be swanky. Alright. Pillar strats. Yes! We're so sneaky. 
Uh, charcoal we'll leave behind. I think we got those. Ooh. Books. Good thing I'm an expert at these locks. Never lost to a lock in my life. That went surprisingly well. Lock picking increase. Oh boy. All right. The Night Mother's Truth. We could take this. Ghosts in the Storm. We can take that. Guide to Better Thieving. Uh, well, I've I need you, you to back. steal this for me. Right. What is it? It's the only way to take a book like this, and I don't want to level okay. up. Got it. Go get him. Good boy. Anything else? All right. Over here, we have another display case with a couple of amulets. This time with an adept lock. Okay. Nobody's in the room. Crime. Crime. Very good. That's my motto. <laughs> okay. I'll. 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 Uh, I picked up everything I didn't want besides the gold. We are going to Amulet of Dibella. Are you for real? Those are not very common to find in just random loot. We are blessed today. Both Mara and Debella smiles upon us and a loot. Just because I wanted one. And that's really all the reason I need. Mm, I was gonna say Mara protect us both. <laughs> that would be blasphemy. Uh, Mr. Fry bless me. Oh, Mr. Imperial lad. Ooh, hello. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Hmm. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. How does one join the Imperial Legion? Think you've got the medal, eh? Just asking for a friend. Honestly, the Legion can use all the able bodies it can muster. We have our hands full. A dead king, a rebellion, and now dragons. Skyrim's a mess. If you're serious, make your way to Solitude. Our headquarters is Castle Dower. You find General Tullius there, commanding our forces in Skyrim. But talk to Legate Ricca. She handles the local recruiting. How do you feel about this war? You mean Ulfric's so-called Stormcloak Rebellion? The Nord Kings, oh, excuse me, Jarls. They can't seem to control their own people, so the Legion has stepped in to keep order. Sadly, the Empire's stretched a little thin these days, and we've gotten very few reinforcements. So we've been forced to recruit locally. But rest assured, citizen, we'll put an end to this uprising, and things will get back to normal soon enough. Hmm. You say so, yet I don't feel convinced. What's the Imperial Legion doing in Skyrim? Not sure I understand the question. The Legion's always been in Skyrim. We have garrisons throughout all the provinces of the Empire. Our mission is to serve the Emperor, uphold the law, and protect the citizenry. Skyrim's days are darkening, and the Legion will soon be called into service like never before. But we stand ready, as always, to meet that call. Until next time. All right, so... Mr. Imperial Boy over here is standing over a map of Skyrim, and this map shows us locations of different settlements and forts, and whether or not they are under Stormcloak or Imperial control. And they can also be interacted with, and what's cool about that is that that's going to add a map marker for this location. Now, obviously, we still need to actually go there and, you know, explore it to get it properly checked off on our list and on our map. But it's nice to just have a general overview of these places right here. Just gonna try to get all of them. Something like that. So if we now take a look at our world map, we can see that we have a lot of forts and different places that have all popped up. That's just a neat little overview for us to have. All right, any goods? I see giant shiny book. I'm gonna take the giant shiny book. Oh, Sven. Oh, whoops. There goes the book. Oh, what a shame. Oh, still fine. Fireproof books, you know. Sven, psst. Get in. Get in, Sven. Okay. What do you need? Take it. Take the book. Okay. Got it. Right there. Yes. Anything else? You're the best. One of you commented that your name is actually Sven, so I'm sorry if I ever make it weird, but that's something that's very likely. Not sure you belong here, citizen. 
I am very sure I do. Just gonna accidentally drop a couple of potion bottles in the other room where there's nobody who can watch them in case they disappear. Just because I... Oh Whoops. my gosh. Whoops is the... I... Sven? Hey, watch it! Oh my god. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. Horker tusk, roll of paper. We can take certain things here. I think it's items below a certain value. Now, stamina potions aren't Can't super interesting for me. Boys. Boiled cream treat is very interesting, though. And... Yoink! Because we have a lot of stamina with vegetable soup, so the only reason we would want stamina potions is probably for sprinting. Otherwise, we're gonna get Mimir stuck in an endless panting loop again. I think we've said hello to everybody here, so let's just wrap up the last few items that they might have laying around. Another amulet of Mara. Sure, I'll take it. The boiled cream treat. Barkeeper's clothes. Couple more clothes, just in case. Strong box. Necklace of minor haggling. We've gotten both a necklace of speech and of haggling now. This is this is excellent. We should equip well, we have Amulet of RK, but we don't really need the health in town. Increases your speech skill by 15 points. I think for now we're gonna wear the amulet of Tybella. Just in case we get into an argument and need to convince somebody. And we have that on us. Okay. Oh, here. we have an the enchanter over here and apple pie. And in I here. Protect the Jarl, whoever that might be. Oh. oh my gosh, I almost missed this. All right, what's in here? The Legend of the Red Eagle. We will take a little coin purse. Oh, that's a book that adds an objective. Well, I guess we're reading it then. <clears throat> The Legend of the Red Eagle by Tredain Dren, Archivist of Winterhold. This tale was transcribed from the memory of Clarisse Vienne, student of Winterhold. Elements of the legend suggest a date. What does the C mean here? Like circa? Like about? About the first era 1030. Though, as with any oral tradition, much of it is likely a later anachronism. Curiously, stories of a similar king and his legendary blade appears in other ancient myths of the Reach. Long ago, a child was born in the Sundered Hills. They named him Phelan, which means Red Eagle in the tongue of the Reach, for the screeching bird call that greeted his birth and the crimson blooms on the autumn hills. Thus began his legend. Reach child, born under auspicious skies, his very name the color of blood. Ten kings ruled the Reach in those days, and though men were free, the people were scattered and warred amongst themselves. The augurs foresaw the boy's destiny, a warrior without peer, first and foremost lord of the Reach, chosen to unite all under his name. Phelan grew in years and strength, and it seemed the prophecy would be fulfilled. The banner of the Red Eagle was raised along the cliffs of the Reach, and his people prospered. Then came Hestra, Empress of the South, riding to war. One by one the king stood before her. One by one they fell aside, bending knee in imperial bargains, or slaughtered on the battlefield. Her legions came at last to the Sundered Hills, and envoys were sent to bargain for their surrender. Phelan refused to yield the freedom of his people, but the elders were afraid, cast him out, and accepted the imperial yoke. Thus was stolen by the foreign invaders, his land, his people, his very name. In the years that followed, Red Eagle became known as the untamed spirit of the Reach, unbowed, unbroken, stained by the blood of his foes. He gathered loyal reachmen to himself, those who clung to the old ways, who yearned for freedom, and forged a new nation. Together they fell upon the occupiers and the traitors by night, disappearing into the cliffs and caves each morn, evading capture. 
It was not enough. For every Imperial patrol and garrison they wiped out, yet more seemed to march from the green south to replace them. One night, under a cloud-choked sky, the men of the Red Eagle warmed themselves over damp fires of smoldering moss. A huddled, shambling figure came to them, cloaked in rags, face cowled. Though his men mocked and cast stones at the stranger, Fowlan sensed something and beckoned. The cowl was thrown back in the dim light, and she revealed herself to be one of the ancient and venerable hag ravens. She offered power for a price, and a pact was made. Thus was brokered to the witch, his heart, his will, his humanity. From that day forth, his was a spirit of vengeance, pitiless and beyond remorse. The rebels grew in strength and numbers, and none could stand against them. Fowland's eyes burned coldly in those days, black opals reflecting a mind not entirely his own. Two years passed, and the foreigners were all but driven from the reach. Such peace could not last, however, and a great host fell upon them, a swift army of invaders unlike any before. For a fortnight, Hestra's generals laid siege to Red Eagle's stronghold, till he himself came forth for battle, alone and robed in nothing but his righteous fury. A thousand foreigners fell before his flaming sword, and the enemy was routed. Yet when night fell, so too did he. The warriors who came to him said Fowlan's eyes were clear again on that final night. He was taken to the place prepared for him, a tomb hidden deep within the rock, a redoubt amongst the cliffs near where the river split and rejoin. With his remaining strength, he presented his sword to his people and swore an oath. Fight on, and when at last the reach is free, his blade should be returned that he might rise and lead them again. Thus was given for his people, his life, his dream, his sword. But when every debt is repaid in blood, these he shall reclaim once more. Okay, book read. Now, I'm still trying to settle on like a book reading policy. When should I read these books on like a separate unlisted uh, series off the main series? Should I do one book at the end of every episode? For now, I think I'm going to just read the books that start a quest marker because it makes sense. So, by reading about that, Fine Red Eagle's Sword was added. And is that actually a marker as well? Yeah, I just, I just know. I'm, I read that book and I'm like, yeah, it's over there. I know where it is. Okay. Interesting though, very interesting. Lesser Soul Gem. And of course, I know that not everybody is... Oh, I'm making a mess. Not everybody is as interested in hearing me read fictional books. And that's okay. That's why beneath the video, there are timestamps for what I do in the different parts of the episode, so... You can always just skip ahead if you don't wish to listen in. But I am going to have to figure out a good way to handle books. Some have suggested doing one at the end of every episode, but I don't know. Considering there's like 500 of them, we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. All right, I do want this common soul gem though. Thank you. I think we have a steel war axe, don't we? Steel war axe. Right. All right, that's the Jarl's quarters. Pretty well cleared. All right. Let's get out there. Still got to go to the jail. Ah. A hoarder's life. It ain't easy, okay? It ain't easy. Let's go meet the killer. First, though, we got to stop by the barracks, where they have, of course, put out plenty of potions for me. Very nice of Careful you. Whoa, whoopsie daisy, it fell down there by the stairs where nobody could see me if I was to pick it up. Whoa, oh no, I'm tripping. Sven, I swear. Whoopsie daisy. What is this? Killing before you're killed. Oh, that's my favorite book. 
All right. Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers. Don't worry about it. I don't intend to give you a septum. What's going on here? All right, we have a couple of the law and you disrespect me. The legendary Sancrator. All right. Looks like I won't be raiding these chests. All about you and your honeyed words. Me? Oh, probably because of this necklace. Okay. Take this potion. Take this potion. Take this potion. Take this regular book. And we'll have Sven steal... What do you need? This book. Okay. Got it. Excellent. Anything else? Let's go to jail. Not something I'm usually optimistic about. All right, we see him in the distance there, and a guard is watching him. Rising Threat, Volume 3. All right, I would want this book. And I mean, if he's not watching me... You know, it's it really is his fault for not watching... Hey, guard, how are ya, pal, buddy? I mostly deal with petty thievery. Ah, uh, yes, you do. Petty thievery, indeed. Yes, yes. There are more books here. Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Rising Threats. So now we have three volumes. Alright, it's time to meet the man, the myth, the monster. Hello, Sinding. Hmm? I said hello, Sinding. Come to gawk at the monster. I hear you attacked a little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just... Lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believe me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. But I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it. And threw a curse on it. I put it on. And the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like with the little girl. What kind of transformations? I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. What will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my... accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. Why did this make you attack the girl? I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe. Something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste her. I needed to hunt. But this... Pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws. Weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. Who is her scene? Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase, and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful force not to be crossed, as I learned too late. I'm afraid we do have to cross paths with him. I'll take the ring to her scene. Oh my. You would do this for me? Here, take it. I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and... Well, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. But you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, 
I will remember your kindness. Farewell. Curse Ring of Hercene added and equipped. And Sending's true form. That everything's fine. Oh. And he's out of here. Alrighty. Um. Oh no, the guard's coming over. The curse ring of her scene causes the wearer to randomly become a werewolf. You cannot unequip this item. So, luckily we are not cursed with lycanthropy, but if we were, this ring would be big trouble. But it does eat up a ring slot, so it's not perfect. Hey, uh, we cool? Like, he just, he just bailed. You, he just, you were he, talking to that murderous savage, and then he escaped. Uh, what are you hiding? Nothing. Mm, we're going. I think we're just leaving. Uh, town's hot right now. Town's a little hot, and we did get we did get some directions to go if we wanted to hunt a beast for her scene, and I think that's exactly what we are going to Only do. Only burglars and vampires creep around after dark. So which are you? Vampire. Now let's go. Let's get out of town. There are still more things to do in town, still more people to talk to, some quests to do, items to get. However, we have already spent half an hour here, and I would very much like to go and chase that beast. Gotta find that sweet spot between, you know, talking in a city, exploring the wild. Oh, wow. That was loud. But it's okay, because I'm not afraid. I am going to equip some armor before we go out on the hunt. Some iron boots too, instead of vampire boots. Fashion can only get me so far. Amulet of RK is coming back on since we're going out. And yeah, we're going hunting. Let's see if we can bring down the beasts. We don't really have a lot of good long range options, but we'll figure something out. Now. As we're walking, this is the perfect time to show off some of the wonderful fan art that's been made of Mimir. Starting with this awesome uh, TCG card by Iskramor Norris, who just made uh, Mimir as if he was a, a trading card character. It's super fun. So it says, Mimir many lives, gains... When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield under his owner control until your next turn. So... He seems like a pretty powerful kind of character. Alright, are we going the right way? No, this is the way to Peak Shade Tower. I don't want to go back here. Well, thank you so much for that, Iskumor. I appreciate it. It's always fun to see the different ways and shapes that fan art can take. If we look at the next one by Breno, we can see a nice little drawing of Mimir and Marina meeting. And a nice little mashup of the two logos of the games as well. Apparently, they were thinking of, whoa! Sven, honestly, it was a stationary rock. You people complain that I killed him. He kills himself better than I ever could. <laughs> he was the original- Are you the great beast? I don't think that's the great beast. Could, would kind of want to kill- Okay, it's going. He was originally going to draw like a little comic of Mimir and Marina meeting, but it ended up just being a drawing, but I still appreciate it a lot. So thank you, Breno. Okay, Sven. We're going on the hunt. Misfire bless me. Your leg. You can't seduce me with that leg, Sven. You need to stop trying. Okay, I had to do a little bit of a recall here because while I was chasing it, it totally bugged out and just completely stopped moving. So I need to try this again. So, let's go. <gasps> there it is. It's getting away, Sven. All right, we need to keep Sven with us. Oh, he's... Okay, I I'm running after him. Ooh, butterflies. All right, Luna Mothwings. Wonderful, wonderful. Right, Sven, follow me. Come on, Sven. We'll get him. We'll get him together. I could run after, but I need Sven with me. The stag has legendary health regeneration. I can try to damage it, but it's going to just 
heal right back up unless I have somebody else there. Sven, this way. Sven, not... Yes? Come on. This way. Buddy. Oh, come on. I'm right behind you. Are you? Oh, he's thinking about it. Okay, there we go. The stag is going to stop at the top of the hill, but I do want Sven with me. Okay. Now I feel like we can get this done here. Miss Fra, bless me. Oh, there he is. He stopped again. And he's running. And going. he's running. Let's get going indeed. I think I'm going to do shield strats here. I'm going to consume some vegetable soup. And then I'm going to try to shield bash him to keep him standing. And while he's shield bashed, Sven's going to go at him with a two-hander. So, let's see how this goes. Miss Fra, bless me. Oh, he's going further and further up. How high are you going? All right. Oh, he is really going for it. Okay. Sven. Stay close to me. And he's stuck on rocks. You know, Sven, there are more followers in the game. Like, I don't have to be stuck with you. <laughs> Speaking of stuck... Oh my gosh, you're worst. You're the worst. All right. I'll go up and fight this... Okay, there we go. Oh! <gasps> There he is. Yup, and he's off. Oh my gosh, we're gonna climb this entire mountain. Ah, Ancestor Glade, not going in there. I've had my share of Spriggins. But we found it, and that's worth something at least. Misfire, bless me. He's leading us to the top of the mountain. I feel like I'm being led into a trap here. Oh my gosh, this stag. Oh, it's getting so... Okay, he ran over to the other side there. Okay, we can't let him run past us now. Okay, if you see him coming, you attack. The great hunt has begun. Mistfire, bless me. He's beneath us. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, oh. Okay, Mistfire, bless me. We can't let him get away. Not back down the path. No! Oh! Sven, Sven, we need to get him. It's now or never. If he starts running back down the mountain, <gasps> you, you, you will not. Oh, look at him heal. Oh, it's worse than I thought. Oh my gosh. This is pain. I don't have paralysis. I have fury. Could fury work here? Could I possibly get him to attack? Because he is not aggressive, but maybe this could make him aggressive. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to toss out some fury balls. Oh, he's running all the way over here. Angie's camp. Oh, yikes. Well, Mr. Fire, bless me. S stop the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to run. Oh. Ugh. Okay, I paused him. Get past him. What is he? A, 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 st stop! I can't. I don't have enough magic. All of this sucks. Okay. Okay. Here's what we do. Ugh. Now we get him. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Oh my gosh, Sven! I am so angry right now. I am. I rarely get frustrated, but oh my, is he running back? I swear. I swear. I swear if you run back down the mountain, please! Oh... Why are you like this? It's almost like he doesn't want to die. It's almost like he values his life. Sometimes. You know what, I'm tempted to recall. I'll screw you, I'm recalling now! Okay, we're back on the cliff edge. I, I need to stop him here. Because this is such a pain on Legendary. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I swear. Stop him, stop him, stop him, roast him, bash him. There we go, there we go. Sven, I'm not going to do anything else other than bash right now. Just, come on, come on, carve him open, carve him open. Feel free to go ahead. Oh my gosh. We're going to level block at least. Stop. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is just how you prepare stag. I'm just... 
tenderizing the meat and I'm making sure that he's, you know, well done by the time we bring him down. Because we will bring him down, Sven. Come on. Come on. Oh, that health regen is the worst. It's fine. I don't think I have any other way of dealing with them. Fury was an idea, but I'm scared of dropping out of this right now. There we go. There we go. There we go, Sven. There we go. <gasps> we did it. We did it. I did it. You help. Oh. I am. You know, it's. It's not what it looks. Sven, you're in the way of a Daedric Prince. Aspect of her scene. Well met, Hunter. Oh. Is that the elven voice actor from Oblivion? Didn't I just kill you? And skillfully too. I've been I wouldn't call it that. It seems. <laughs> you ages have the indeed. Of a fine hunter. I don't. Did you see what you happened? May even be my champion. Perhaps. Are you her scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. Uh, so I, I got this ring. Will you remove the curse from this ring? I may consider it. But you must first do a service for my glory. Oh. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. It shall be done as you ask. I'm not one to argue with spectral stags. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. Okay. Begin the hunt. Oh, he's gone. So, we have just been pointed to Bloated Man's Grotto, which isn't too far out of the way, and it's along a path that I've been considering taking. So, we should probably stop by there. The Hercene quest is going to be very interesting. Oh, you were hiding a garnet, were you? Venison and elk hide, I'll take. But Sven, it's been a long day. It's been a long hunt. That wasn't even the great hunt. It was the pathetic hunt. But this is Angie's camp, everybody. It's a quaint little place atop the mountain. Quite a view. Some tomatoes. You know. Let's see if we can find the titular Angie. Oh gosh, she's sleeping with her eyes open. That's terrifying. Name's Angie. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. I believe you, girl. Hey, hey, calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just walked into your bedroom with a flaming hand because... Hey. Sorry, a girl can't be too careful out here. Like I said, name's Angie, and I've been living out here for a couple of years now. Why live out here all by yourself? I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. At the time, I couldn't stand to be around anyone. They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want them to. It was my problem, not theirs. Who killed your family? Two Imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Want me to take care of them? Already did. Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Thanks for offering, though. I am sorry about your family. You said you didn't want people to say Don't that. Don't be but... like them. Okay. Don't be sorry for me. Okay. Anyways, outside where I was killing a giant stag, there were some targets. What are they for? I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. Are you any good with your bow? That I am. You know how to use one? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. If you need a bow, there's one on the rack to the left of the door. Huh. So? Let's see if I can teach you a few things about using a bow. 
That's one of the interesting things about Angie. She actually has a little uh, non-journal quest thingy where she can teach you to shoot a bow. It's a very nice way of training archery, so we won't do it yet because archery is still very easy for us to train since we're such a rookie. I am going to take the gold ribbon of merit, though, and then have a right talk you. with Sven. All right. What is it? And just what ask him if he can carry it for me. Okay, got it. And there we go. Anything else? So, she also has practice arrows, and I want those because they are a unique type of arrow that don't do deal damage, they don't weigh anything, and they're not worth anything. But still, they're a collectible, and that has to count for something. So while Angie is asleep... Are, did she close her eyes this time? Okay, she closed her eyes. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> I imagine just turning the corner and having that death stare again. I don't want that. We're just gonna look around, because garlic is hella rad, and if you disagree, we can't be friends. Fine clothes, possibly have these, some boots, a large sack with some salt pile, steal from the cupboard, that's down there, and there's a, there's a large sack up here. Some potatoes. <coughs> We're getting to be quite heavy, and a little chest, with the corundum ingots and golds. Potion of Minor Stamina, and an end table with gold, and a treasure map. Excellent. Okay. This is what we like to see. Take a couple of these, and then I'm just quickly going to trade a couple of things with Sven before we check out that treasure map. Simply so that I can move around a little bit more. Woodsman's friend, have a woodcutter's axe, steel war axe. Just take some of the heavy stuff. You lead, I'll follow. Is he going to use that over the Iron Greatsword, I wonder? Oh, he's not carrying it on his back, so it's hard to say. Treasure map! We've already completed one of them. But I'm happy to find another. So we have... Quite a few river wo river woods. Uh, ri river falls? That's not... Waterfalls! Gosh! Some waterfalls. Okay. Interesting. Let's keep that terrain in mind. I don't believe it, it's nearby, but we'll find it in due time. Sven, I just gotta say, oh, thank you for being my companion. Like, I know today has been, it was a little embarrassing out in the wild, but hey, he's, he's a patient lad, okay? And I, I appreciate him a lot. The white stag has been slain for her scene. The quest has well and truly begun. And we've gotten a good head start when it comes to the people of Falkreath. In the next episode, we're going to wrap up all of the requests. But for now, I think me and Sven are just going to enjoy the view. Torch is a pretty good idea. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching this episode. Despite my sometimes lackluster gameplay, I hope you're enjoying the journey. I feel like the mishaps only really add to the story overall. At least that's what I tell myself to sleep a little better at night. In the next one, we're heading back down to Falkreath because there are some people to meet, some quests to do, some items to get, and a new road of adventure to follow. So have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.